What's up, everybody? Um, excuse me. I feel like I got some more food in my teeth. Up. Oh, I see something. It's coming. Sorry, guys. Anyways, well, check it out, man. I'm here. Um, the only reason why I do YouTube videos still is because um, God wants me to do it. Other than that, I would have been out a long time ago. Okay, according to the people, I've been living here in Ocho Rios for the longest. To the people that was saying that, that's pretty cool, man. And if I was living, all that Portland stuff was just an act. Woo! Then expose me because why was I living there the whole time? That's one question I would like to ask. What in the world? If I was living in Ocho Rios like this. Okay, and, 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 and living like this for the longest, and, I, and I, I guess I was doing it. I don't have enough subscribers, guys, to be fooling you, okay? I, I'm not into all that, okay? Because I would have been out already. I would have been living like this already. Oh, that was a sacrifice, okay? I had to put that money into there. And another thing is, okay, I just want to say a couple things. Is Somebody said that my wife was, my family, my, my daughter was unhappy, okay? You don't know that my daughter is really happy. Anaya, yes. what, where you at? What you doing up there? Why do you you don't want to go hang out? No. Why? You like your house, right? Why? But you, I see that you got AC on up there. It's actually pretty cool, cold in here. Okay. Yeah. So you can turn the AC down. Actually, yeah. you see that? I got a remote control. I'm not in the bush, and I can turn down the AC. Okay. Here and turn it down a little bit. There you go. 25, 25 Celsius. That means it's like 72 degrees in here. 73 degrees come on so anyways i'm not i'm not trying to be a butthead i just want to let y'all guys know that my daughter is very happy up there my wife is very happy and that they don't get beatings or a strange cold or any psychedelic men mental things that we got hum hum we're not doing none of that bro we just we're literally having a good time and i believe that people just can't understand our lives and some people are just mad at the circumstances that they chose or was persuaded into believing. If you want to do that and you're not happy with whether you stay in a cubicle, whether you work all night and day, whether you got five jobs, whether you ain't got no education, maybe you ain't got no education, no, no hustling skills. A to each his own, brother. Maybe there's people out there that do got hustling skills, that paid attention or had an opportunity or some people don't have the opportunity, whatever. Just don't hate on me, bro. I'm chilling. I'm not hating on you. You put a camera on you. I might say things like, your head is massively big. You know what I'm saying? Or like, yo, son, you just made a mistake and put the camera on your toe. Do you not see your toe, son? I'll say things like that. But like, dang, your wife got like four butt cheeks, bro. Oh, dang. Now I'm just playing. But give me something to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Four butt cheeks. Dang, that's a big girl right there, boy. We Anyways. Someone said that you cannot live here in America, in, in Jamaica, living, thinking like Jamaicans. So, I'm, I love Jamaica, because my family's here. But I'm going to let you know that my daddy went to fur and had me. Yes, he did. And he gave me those Tito's, okay? Sometimes, sometimes he gave me some those Tito's, okay? So, look, I look, I look. I, I know, I'm so excited. They said I cannot make it in Jamaica. Look, if you look. Love. I got tortillos, tortillos some salsa. Some salsa. <laughs> Look, let me take you into my refrigerator, okay? I have things like, <laughs> like a beef party, you know? We have chicken breast, you know, to make it, everything right, okay? Now, look, I'm going to show you guys, okay, you how everything is. Okay, you have a little soda, a little soda. Then you got, uh-oh, American cheese. I'm in violation Okay, look at here. Oh my God. Oh my God. That looks like American product to me. Everybody looks like. What is this? More American food. You cannot survive without the. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. American food. Look. Sorry, ma. Ripping, baby. You be going on a tangent. Yo, you guys gotta be careful. When you guys comment, he'll make a video out of it. Oh my god. Wait, wait. Oh yeah. I, I, 
Oh my God, we have rotis. Rotis. So I can make some curry chicken. Oh, the rotis. only thing I got in here that's from Jamaica is the water. Try. The, huh? Yeah, babe, you're allowed. Like, I'm just doing my video. But she's trying to watch a movie because she's in her own world. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at the ballpark. Yes. Normally, I would not buy. I will ball never in America, buy butter ball, but guess but what? Over here in Jamaica, I will. They didn't have nothing else, so it was in my ballpark. You get it? Not the price range. That was the only thing to choose from. But let me tell you something. It's better than no turkey. <laughs> I'm just saying. Sometimes. I can't do dumplings and. I cannot just hurry up and roll dumpling. a dumpling and bust a can of sardines. I, I don't like it. I don't eat the macro, you know, I like it sometimes, but I'm telling you, I don't like it. I don't like the dumpling. No, I don't. I like it. I just don't no, have sometimes. Time. Sometimes. No, I just don't have time to cook it. You don't have time. We're going to go with, look. I like look. fast, fast, fast. fast. The, like fast food like this, ma? Like that food up there, fast food? Yeah, like fast food like this. Like that fast food up there, ma? Like the fast food. Okay, they say you can't make it without, without having. The dumplings and the banana and the tripes and the bolas. Well, I don't know about the tripes, but yeah. Well, you have to make sure, ma. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm just here chilling. To the people that said we lived in Ocho Rios and we thought Jamaica had a word, remember we came down here on an Airbnb. And that would be a pretty trick because I was out there for like four months, five months, six months getting that house done. And people keep saying, what are you doing that with the house? Be like a new subscriber. Had to be. I, I would have to say that's a new subscriber mm. that hasn't been watching our videos. I got something stuck in my teeth. Started. But then I get, why would they say this whole time? Nah, that's what I'm saying, bro. It's somebody who's just sitting there thinking that they don't you see the power of God. No. That they, yo, bro. Bro. Somebody says we went from zero to 100. But zero for 100 because they don't know what you're doing. Like, that's what I'm trying but to tell God you. God is in it and I must say, yes, he is. Now, let me tell you this, okay? And I'm going to get off this thing. Remember that I'm a hustler, okay? So just know that. Oh, my family's been, she hasn't worked for years. And I've been driving trucks for many, many, many years. And I've been doing all this stuff. I've come to Jamaica like several times and has literally failed. This time I came with insurance. It's called not making the right decisions again. The wrong decisions again. Excuse me. So now when I went to Jamaica, check this out, guys. Now, I'm just going to let you know. When I was up in Portland, I was spending money. 25,000, it went to 30,000 US, okay? And I sat there, my whole savings, everything that I worked hard for was starting to deplete because I was putting it in the house. I underestimated the house a little bit by maybe like 6,000, $7,000 to really spice it up, to put some paint on the walls, 8,000 if I wanna put the you know, 10,000 all together if I'm going to just boom, done. That sounds like a couple months of work to me. I don't know what you do, but when I'm on the road, I get paid like $70 an hour. So I don't know what you're doing with yourself, but um, I was out there getting that. Uh, practitioner money. You know, I was a lawyer. I, mean, I was a truck driver getting paid like, you know, a good amount of money. So I like saved that. Or something that people don't do. Instead of like standing in lines waiting for Jordans to come out, you know, I like saved that and like you know, tortured myself when everybody was out hanging around, chilling and drinking. I was home with my money in my pocket and my bank account, and I was gonna come here later and start building my house. But you guys can't seem to understand that. Now, guess what? So, so I was there, okay? I, it's called a budget. So sometimes when I say to you guys, man, I don't even have a Jamaican $1, I meant that. But guess what? That didn't mean that there was coming some more Jamaican dollars. I mean, American dollars right after that. Why? Because sometimes I would buy so much. Like I would spend $188,000 in one day and then have to spend $32,000 in a couple days to get things done. And then I have to buy another $20,000 in tiles, and another $50,000 in doors, another $128,000 in windows, another $45,000 in tiles, another $50,000 in, in, in thin sets and concrete, another $45,000 in an extra couple blocks. Man, get out of here, man. Get out of here, man. Come on, you, what you gonna do? Abandon the house? I got a multi-million dollar house out there? Put it in Jamaica now. What, 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 what is it? 
I don't know, two, three, four million dollar house. Get out! I, don't even, I, I got time for that. But right now, I got a new hustle. It's, it's called working, getting myself up. I ain't got to tell you every bit. All right, listen. Time is running out. Please like and subscribe. That's what you get out of John John. Okay? Praise the Lord. The God is the way, the truth, and the light. Amen. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the light. Stop hating on your brothers. Start loving and giving some great advice, okay? And I love everybody out there to support me. And whoever don't, guess what, bro? I'm still going to be me. You don't come over here and help me or nothing, okay? I'm going to still be me. I'm going to still take care of my daughter. I'm going to still be married for 15 years. I'm going to still... Going on 16, I love my baby, and I, she don't get beat up, abused. There ain't nobody got no charges, a child of beating or domestic disputes, none of that. So we out here having a fun time. Hold on, let me, I'm going to get off this thing. I love everybody out there. Big up to everybody who support me and pray for you, because if I was a dude back in the days, I would have told you what to do with yourself and how to do it. But now I'm going to tell you, God bless you and all the people with the comments. People keep saying, don't listen to the comments. I don't care. I'm going to still listen to them. I'm a vlogger. I got a right to defend myself because I'm going to sit here and go crazy if not. So guess what? The comments come at me, I'm going to come at you the same way, but not like that. No disrespect. You ain't going to never hear me say mother effing or mother this or son of a this or son of a that. No, man, it's God bless you to the fuzz. I'll deal with my own things. I ain't got time to be cursing nobody out. One love. Look, let's open up the door right quick to see what our view looks like. I mean, I mean, yeah. You see that? Right there, guys. That's what it is right there. Well, that's the beach right there, man. Then you got all down here. You got the pool. Everybody's all silent right now. Everybody's good and got to go to work in the morning. We the only ones that ain't doing no jobs and we bum and begging on the internet. You know what I'm saying? So we got to get some sleep because we got to bum and beg in the morning. And then we got to tell people that we've been hiding in the Ocherias for the longest. No one's that important to be hiding in Jamaica, first of all, it's not like I got 50 million subscribers, second of all, and I'm having fun. And guess what, guys? We got notice today. So the things are starting to go. So, you know, I may not talk about the Lord in details all the time. Like, don't take the jab because it's part of the mark of the beast. And it's understandable that it's something, it's a mark that can go there and change your thinking process and and also, this is going to be scanned to buy food and groceries. You should be concerned if you're going to be forced to take something. How about you guys just take it? Because I'm tired of telling you anyways. So John John's a kook. No, no, nothing. You know, just, I, just, John John don't have no sense. So don't worry about John John. Worry about yourself and take it for people like me and my family can travel some more. That may I tell you. So if you feel like you're immune to it, then go do it. But I tell you, God said, don't do it. Because yes. it's leading you to the slaughterhouse. You. So bad. if you don't want to do it, then go ahead and listen to your own, be on your own understanding. Lean on your own understanding. God said not lean on your, not on your own understanding. Trust God, not man. So trust all the men that tells you lies constantly and you still vote for them and you still love them and you still listen to them. No matter if they come in their slave ships and tell you one thing, you shall go and they come and tell you different. It just seems like the people just love to be asleep. So sleep, my dear children. Nothing is going on at all. Everything is just fine and dandy. Yes, maybe you could have some caviar in the morning or something of that type of matter. Maybe you is and maybe you isn't. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so now what you decide to do as your own self is just live in your own self-pity after you realize that the jab that lays dormant in your arm will now activate and you will be running around looking for someone to save you yeah, and no one can save you when you realize yeah, yeah, yeah. that you have judged yourself with stupidity. Yeah. So all my people out there that believe in the Lord stand strong and my God is not some white character looking guy with blue eyes that slanged on a cross with a heart in the middle of his chest. And still hanging on a cross, on a cross. My father is a black man, and it's not in Hebrew Israelite. It was written in the Bible and said that his skin was of bronze and his hair was of wool. So it's to me it sounds like a black man of some type of melanin, and it looks like this COVID thing is actually designed to kill the children of the ghetto by being poor. And also to eliminate the people with melanin for they can get rid of the black people. Maybe that's just my thought. 
Not every wise man is the same, and you might hate me because of this. But this is something I must say. It looks like they're designing their tools to take out the black man. But I say this, and I shall say it again. We shall rise. Is no matter how many times you try to kill us, you cannot, for God will find a way through, and we will travel on forever. Pay attention, son. Life is quick. Time is ticking. We're in the 11th hour. We're in the 11th hour. hour, and time is ticking. And you don't really want to watch this video because I'm getting under your skin. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the light. Yes. Amen. My father's real. He protects and God protects me. You know what I mean? Yes, yes, yes. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Heaven and earth adore him. Angels bow before him. What a mighty God we serve. He will arise and come forth. In his name of the Lord of hosts, he will arise and come forth. In his name. Hallelujah. Please like and subscribe. God loves you. God loves you, man. Repent and get saved. And we only down to almost He's two months, way. guys, before the big. <laughs> Disappearance? Vanish? You think, Danielle? I don't know, Jophiel.